change the game in Afghanistan. We're experts in the application of violence. When you move, move with a sense of purpose and aggression intent on finishing the enemy. Your conscience should be clear and your honor should be clean. One scene from a powerful and emotional new award-winning documentary in theaters today. It's about a U.S. Marine's journey back home. This following a serious injury in southern Afghanistan in 2009, Sergeant Nathan Harris is one of the over 25,000 soldiers injured while serving in America's longest war. One that continues to this day, I might add. This, as a new poll reveals today, only one-third of U.S. veterans, one out of three, say the war in Afghanistan and Iraq was worth fighting in the first place. With us now... Helen Back Again's film director, Dan Fung Dennis, who says he wants his film to jolt people's consciousness. Hi. Hi, thanks for having me. What information do you bear? I can understand that frustration. I've been working in Afghanistan since 2006 as a photojournalist. And even though my images were being published quite widely, I didn't feel like they were having any impact. I felt society had become numb to images of war and I wanted to shake them from their indifference. And in 2009, I was embedded with Echo Company 2 Wade of the 2nd Marine Division. During the largest helicopter assault since Vietnam, 4,000 Marines were being dropped behind enemy lines. And I embedded with this unit during this offensive. And how is it that we could be in a war that's the longest war in America's history where we have information like this where two-thirds of the soldiers are on the front lines when they come back say th th that war, those wars were not worth fighting. And yet our political apparatus is asleep at the switch and for that matter uh, much of the American population. It's an extremely difficult situation. The fighting now is heavier than it ever has been. And in July of 2009 during this operation, shortly after we landed, we were surrounded and attacked on all sides. And the fighting really focused around this pile of rubble, that later became known as Machine Gun Hill. After the first day, one Marine had been killed, a dozen had collapsed from heat exhaustion, and almost all of us had run out of water. And that's when Sergeant Harris passed me his bottle of water, and I first met him. And I followed his platoon as they pushed further into this insurgent stronghold. But yes, the fighting now is extremely heavy. Do the soldiers explain why uh, they the poll data is what it is, why they feel those wars were not, are not worth fighting? Many of the Marines that I spent time with, they, they feel like they're fighting for their brothers. They're fighting to stay alive and they're fighting to come home. But when it's when they come home, this entirely new struggle appears, trying to transition from this world of life and death and, and blood and dust to one where it seems the country's at the shopping mall. And that transition is almost more difficult than what happens on the battlefield. Talk about that a little bit. When I was back in North Carolina, waiting for the Marines to return, they were coming off the bus and rejoining with their family members. And these are men that you had been with in Afghanistan? Yes, I'd been embedded with their unit. And I noticed that Sergeant Harris wasn't there and asked, where, where is he? And they said he got hit two weeks ago. And so I called him up. He had been shot by a Taliban machine gun round. He was in extreme pain. He had undergone multiple surgeries and nearly bled to death. And he invited me back up to his hometown after being released from the hospital. And he introduced me to his friends and family as this guy was over there with me. And so instantly, I was accepted into this very rural Baptist community and essentially lived with him and his wife, Ashley, as he recovered and tried to transition back into his community. And, and what was, what defined the, the, the real, the struggle in that experience? I realized that the experience of war isn't simply what happens on the battlefield. It's as much what happens when these men and women return home. And also what the military families bear. Ashley, the, his amazing wife, is always there caring for him. And she's carrying this burden of the war as much as these that go off and fight. Uh, it, obviously, historically, transportation, communication wasn't what it was. After World War II, men would fight that war. It would take longer to go from the theater of war back to uh, pedestrian uh, or, or, or civilian society. 
how much are these problems exacerbated by, uh, by the instantaneous nature of being in Afghanistan, in a war zone, fighting for your life, and literally within 24 hours or 36 hours or less in, in some cases, back in this reality where the apparatus from the government and our society is limited or non-existent to acknowledge the damage that has been in incurred by these men uh, emotionally, mentally, and to create a space for them to see each other. I imagine the only people that could possibly relate to them is them. Uh, is there anything that we could do to create an apparatus where, where you create a little more cushion uh, in that transition? Absolutely right. It's extremely difficult coming home, especially so quickly. And they come back and no one really understands what they've been through. They come back and they're, they're trying to reintegrate into normal life, but it almost seems more complex. You've got these bills, these relationships, and you've come from this world where they have this sense of purpose, this sense of mission, and all of a sudden they're thrown back to one where everything seems mundane and trivial. And that can be really hard to reconcile. Are there communities? I imagine the internet is probably some benefit, but that's, uh, that's, a, that's kind of a, an insult, quite honestly, to think about what these men have been through. Uh, a, a tremendous respect for you uh, and admiration. Congratulations on the film and, and thank you for taking your creativity and your work to bring a message that is beneficial not just to you but to the people that uh, you are, who's, on whose behalf you are working. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the film, Helen Back Again, uh, Dan Fung Dennis. Uh, check it out. Uh, tell your friends about it. Uh, something we all need to be talking about more than we are.